Next, let's go over how to take pictures and just a quick uh, walkthrough of taking pictures, taking videos, and then where to find them after you take them. So first, you'll wanna go to this camera button that's in the bottom right corner. And I'm gonna just lift the phone. So when this button in the front is white, that means you're taking a picture. So I'm just gonna point it at my Rubik's Cube here, tap the white button to snap a picture, just like that. Now, if I wanna take a video, I can just simply swipe over, just like this, and that's gonna put me in video mode. Now, guess what? I know I'm in video as well because my button is no longer a solid white. Now it has a red circle in the middle, and that is to let you know that tapping this will start recording. So we're taking a video, and you'll notice at the top here, it has a count up that's telling you, hey, we're recording a video. This is how long the video is going for, okay? Now, while you take a video, guess what? You can simply tap on this little button here to snap photos during the video. So that's a super helpful feature there. You can pause the video or simply hit the stop button to stop it from playing. Now those are the two main camera functions. Now you can swipe over and there's some other options. For example, there is a portrait mode. Portrait mode is when you have something in the shot that you want to have all the focus and you want the background to be blurry. Let's see, let's try to take this picture here. If I take this, it's gonna have the flower that's gonna be in full clear view and the whole background is gonna be blurred out. So I'm gonna just tap the button to snap and now I have a nice picture where the flower is in full focus but the background is blurred out. You can also tap this button here to change the different blurry uh, options that are available. So that's just a quick rundown of how to take pictures. Now you'll notice in the left, oh, excuse me. You'll have this button to the right. This button to the right is how you switch to the front camera. If you want to take a selfie, you'll tap on this button. And now we're working off of the front camera, you see. And then same thing, tap the button to take your picture. Now one more important thing, this is how you get really great pictures. When you're pointing at something, if you tap on the item, the camera will make sure that it's in even more focus and it will adjust the lighting according to that item. Now maybe I wanna change the lighting in this picture and I want it to adjust more to, to this little wood base. I'm gonna tap on that wood base and you'll notice the lighting is gonna adjust. Now if I tap on this little item in the back that's dark, it's gonna make it really bright. So simply tapping on different items in the picture, that's how you adjust how the camera responds with the lighting and with the focus. Quick pro tip. Now, after you've taken a picture, you can either tap on this little icon on the left. This takes you right to your photo gallery. It'll allow you to see the picture and swipe through other pictures that you've just taken. Maybe you say, oh, I don't like this last one. Tap on the trash can on the bottom right corner to get rid of it. It's gonna move it to the trash. Now, maybe you're not in the camera at all. Maybe you just, hey, I just wanna see the pictures that I took today at the zoo, whatever. You'll swipe up on the home screen and look for the gallery icon and then tap on gallery. And this will show you all the pictures you've taken. In the first menu option, it separates it by the date. You can also go over to album and it will separate your pictures by album. Camera, screenshots, favorites, recent. And it also has a cool story mode where it'll create different stories based on the pictures you take. So that is the camera section and that's where you'll be able to make your different edits to the pictures as well after you take them. Thanks again for watching. If you didn't already hit that like button, hit the like button down below and we'll catch you in the next video. Take care and as always, have a good one.